Hello is that? I am smart. And one thing a lot of Star Wars fans like to do is uh, theorize. There are, you know, lot, lots of Star Wars fans, whole channels dedicated to theorizing about Star Wars. This has been going on for years and years and years. Well, for example, Rey. Right? You know, well, when Force Awakens came out, there are all sorts of theories uh, about, you know, who her parents was. Most of them are wrong, but I'm pretty sure there were, were some people who predicted she was a Palpatine, so at least they got it right. And, you know, um, Snoke. A lot of people had theories about Snoke. Pretty, pretty much all of them end up being wrong because Snoke just ended up being a nobody and... Well, maybe kind of a clone, but I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, so my point kind of being that usually fan theories are wrong and they just don't go anywhere, but they're kind of fun to look at. So today I'm going to look at some uh, th theories for the Ahsoka show, and I'm going to kind of make fun of them because I think some of these are just kind of silly. I mean, obviously it, it's, it's all in good fun. You know, if you want to, you know, enjoy the Ahsoka show, that's perfectly fine. I'm not trying to stop you from enjoying the Ahsoka show or come up with fan theories. I'm not trying to, you know, rain on anyone's parade or anything, you know, enjoy what you want. This is just how I enjoy this show. I enjoy this show by making fun of it and make fun of the people who like it. I'm kidding, guys. I'm, I'm a nice person. I'm a, such a nice person. Really, I am. Anyway, so uh, so Marak. Mar Marak, I don't know how to say that, guys. The new Inquisitor dude, right? Um, uh, Baby said his first words in, in episode three, so that's kind of cool. He talks now. Um, so it's probably a guy character? Probably? I don't, maybe it's like a voice changer thing? I don't know. I've, I saw some people say this guy's going to be Ezra. Like, wh what? The whole point is that Ezra and Thrawn disappeared to like another, how would Ezra be, I don't know, that'd be a really stupid plot twist and I have to have a really, really good explanation for me to not just ultimately, ultimately hate it. Um, so here's that. Uh, I will say one I kind of agree with is it could maybe be Barriss, uh, Offie, is that her name? That one like Jedi who in the Clone Wars like became evil for a bit, because I don't really know, I don't remember that arc very well, but anyway. I could kind of see it, and that'd be cool of like, oh, you thought it was a guy, it's actually a girl, it's actually Barris. whoa, plot twist. It'd still be stupid, and I'd hate it, and I'd much prefer this is just a new original character, which would make sense, rather than just bringing up old characters and making them Inquisitors all of a sudden, but whatever. Um, so I'm, that, that, that I could see. Um, I will say, though, for the people who want it to be Starkiller, it's not happening. Just, just, just stop kidding yourself. It's not going to be Star Killer, guys. They're not going to make Star Killer canon. And if they did, it wouldn't be nearly as cool. He wouldn't be as cool as he is in the games. Because in the games, he's cool. He does all these crazy things that wouldn't make any sense in canon. So yeah, and also him being an Inquisitor, like that wouldn't make any sense because the whole thing is he's like Vader's secret apprentice. But then it would be separate from. But then he'd be an Inquisitor. So how could he be Vader's apprentice? It wouldn't make any sense, guys. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna rip the bandit off, telling you it's not gonna be Star Killer, right? He's not gonna be canon, all right? There is no Star Killer, there is no Darth Revan, and there is no Queen of England. So another kind of theory is about Sabine. We're trying to figure out what's up with Sabine in this show. I'm trying to figure that out. I, I genuinely don't understand what her character motivations are besides like finding Ezra, I guess. But like, okay, like like they're just kind of like, oh, we might be able to find Ezra, but while while we're stopping Thrawn, so that's kind of cool. And she's just like, sure, I'll come along and. But now Ahsoka's training her, and I don't know why. Like, because it's it's telling us that Sabine is not force sensitive. It's kind of, you know, beat us over the head with that concept, which is why I'm thinking the show is probably just gonna be like, whoa, she's force sensitive. So I guess that's my own fan theory. Here you go. My own fan theory is it's just a prediction, I guess, not really a theory. Is that a theory? I don't know. Anyway, I, I think the show's gonna try and do something like that. It's probably gonna upset me because it's like, okay. Is she, what are we, how, how are we doing force sensitivity now? Is it just kind of whatever the writers want? Like, like some, you know, back in the old days of the original trilogy, it was just, we didn't really know why some people had the force and some people different, you know? That's just how it was. But then the prequels is like, oh, you got to have midichlorians to have the force. But now are they changing it up again and you can have the force if you really want to? Like if you try really hard at it, is that what they're setting up with Sabine? I don't know. Why, why are they going down this road? Why, why is Ahsoka training here to be a Jedi and then also saying, I don't want her to be a Jedi. W where are we going here? Is she being trained to be a Jedi or not? Why is she just training for combat? Like, she's already a pretty skilled combatant. So I really don't see the point of training Ahsoka. Uh, Ahsoka trains to be... <sighs> Whatever, moving on to the next thing. So let's talk about the, the big one, the new galaxy that they're talking about. There's a lot of potential there. A lot of great potential for new storytelling that could happen. A lot of new characters that could get introduced. Or... We could just tread over old stuff again because that seems to work. I don't. I think, I think people are saying like, oh, it's gonna be something from Legends, you know, the 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 Yuzong Vong or whatever it is. I don't really know anything about that besides it. it apparently, is a bunch of dudes that come from another galaxy. I think I mentioned this in another video. I don't really even remember at this point. Um, so like, 
that'd be kind of silly, right? Like, like, we all kind of agree that'd just be silly. I don't think we all agree on this, but my, my take, personally, is some other writer, I don't know who it was, or maybe a comic book thing, and some other writer has already, you know, done the whole Yuzong Bonk thing. It's been a whole thing in EU, and it's been put into EU. To bring it into canon, I don't think it would be as good. Like, right, everyone always talks about how the, the, the book adaptations are way better than movie adaptations, right? You know, with Harry Potter or whatever. Everyone always says that. So obviously, if they took it and made it into a show, it wouldn't be nearly as good as the original, right? I, I don't even know anything about the original, but that just makes sense. They, 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 there's really no way they can make it better, or even as good, I don't think, if they were just shoved it into the show or something else. So that wouldn't make any sense, right? So, and why do we just taking something else another writer did? Why don't we just, I don't know, make a new thing? Uh, that's a crazy idea for Star Wars, right? Having new stuff? New ideas? No, no. We can't have that. We gotta retread over the old stuff again. Wow. Hey, it's me, uh, Future IR Smart. I just wanted to say, I forgot to mention uh, when I recorded the video yesterday that there are also some fan theories, people saying that this, this show is going to somehow decanonize the sequels. This is ridiculous. I, again, I, I feel like I need to talk about this because, again, it's just like, guys, they've been, there are some fans who've just been holding on to hope for years that someday this awful sequel trilogy is just going to be go away and be decanonized and somehow George Lucas's sequel trilogy is going to replace it because that makes so much sense and they would totally do that. And Dave Filoni is going to use this show to make the sequels not canon somehow by making a new timeline. Like, what? Huh? Are, we, are, we, are you guys here? People seriously still are upset. I, I, I genuinely cannot believe there's people who like wake up and are like, you know, I can't believe that six years ago, The Last Jedi ruined my life. I'm still so mad at Ryan Johns for ruining my life six years ago. Like, seriously, please. I, if you are one of these people, I beg you, please, just let it go. Just don't care. It's it's movie. Some like it, some don't. It's, mo it's, it's, not, it's not that bad, guys. I genuinely don't understand. Like, sure. The sequels were kind of disappointing. They weren't that great, but, like, they didn't ruin your life, okay? Grow up, please. I, I literally beg you, okay? It's just like, ugh. But see, if you're still holding on the hope that it's going to decanonize the sequels just because you didn't like them, please, please stop. I'm, so, I'm being very cynical in this video. I'd like to remind you once again, if you're still watching and you're kind of upset, like, I like the Ahsoka show, I respond, what's going on? Why do you hate it so much? I, it's just me. The show's not for me. I don't know what it is. So far, I've kind of figured it out. Maybe that opinion will change as the show goes on, but so far I've kind of figured th this really isn't for me. It's for Clone Wars fans, it's for Rebels fans, and I'm not really big into either of those, so I don't think the series is really for me. But if it is for you and you're enjoying it, that's great. I want to reiterate that point. I I've gotten into some arguments with people, and they they're kind of like, oh, what the heck, why don't you like the show? And then it's just kind of like, it's not for me, and they're like, all right, you know, that's fine. So I don't want to piss anybody off with this, but I really do find it fun to make fun of these series. That's why I'm making these videos. So... Yeah, um, that's actually all I really had. It's just those main two of the theories, and I'm just like, I need to talk about these. These are silly. So, a bit of a shorter video, I guess, but I, I just need to talk about this. Anyway, uh, I think this is going to be uploaded, like, right before there's another episode, episode four. So, I'll see how that is. And already, that's, like, halfway through the series. So, they better have Thrawn show up soon. That's another thing. I want Thrawn to show up, like, in the middle of the show. I don't want him to show up in, like, the finale and just get defeated in the finale. That would be stupid. They did that in Mando Season 3, or like at the end of Episode 7, it was like, oh, look, it's Thrawn, or, or, or Gideon, I don't know, I can't keep, I can't keep him straight. They're like, oh, look, it's Gideon, whoa, um, and it's like, and then the next episode, he just dies in like 10 minutes. Huh? Well, this is supposed to be our main villain. Stop bring him in again. I hope they bring up Thrawn in the middle. Give him a bit time to run around the galaxy and, and sow chaos, and then the finale, big climactic battle or whatever you want to do, all right? Don't just bring him in just for the finale. Come on, give him some time to, to, to get to get to know this character. <sighs> but but knowing knowing Disney, they're gonna just do the same thing again, aren't they? Darn. Anyway, I'm not a Disney hater. I I mean, well, I don't like the company, but I also want to reiterate, I don't just like hate everything Disney Star Wars. I'm not one of those people. Okay, I like I like Andor and a lot of other stuff that Disney has done with Star Wars. They're just a bad company. So I don't know. Um, anyway, I've kind of rambled on in this entire video. Did you enjoy it? I got all these new people here, because they all watched the, the Palpatine video, so I like, I got all these new people here, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with you guys, I don't know. So hoping you're enjoying my content, this is usually what, I usually ramble. The Palpatine stuff is, like, on days where I'm feeling kind of creative. This is just, this is my usual stuff, I just ramble. 
I really should stop talking now. I've kind of run out of stuff to talk about. That's why I just kind of like do this at the end of the videos. I think most people like left like two minutes ago. So if you stay to the end, you're really cool. Um, bye.